again with Lauf catching up. And um, I don't know if Lauf remembers this, but um, my name is Ed again, and we've met before in October 2017. If you yeah. can give a shout out to yourself three years ago, what would you say to this Lauf? I would say, it looks like I straightened my hair. I would say, stop straightening your hair and just embrace it, fam. All right. But you look good <laughs> both ways anyways, so. Thank you. And um, this, war, this was before the How I'm Feeling period of your first yeah. album. So this was the era of Easy Love remixed by Deepa Barus right here. Yeah. And um, if you have any um, fond memories of Indonesia, what would you share to us about Indonesia? Wow. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, there's been a few things. I mean, just playing shows there and it's really cool. And um, Difa Barus, is, he was so sweet. Very, very nice. It was really fun hanging out. Um, and yeah, I just, I can't wait till I can come back. Right on. So um, you, you have played on the biggest Java Jazz event in Indonesia. How does that feel? Like, so I mean, that was crazy. That was so cool. Um, I remember also watching Daniel Caesar. He's amazing. And yeah, it was, it was fun. Yeah, right. Daniel Caesar is awesome. So yeah. um, that is about the memories of you in Indonesia. But what I have found today about you, Lauf, is that you have a podcast. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. You have this Breaking Modern Loneliness podcast. And you got three episodes so far with Dr. Yes. Vivek, with MXM Tune, and with Jeremy Zucker, which... Um, me and Mario already um, talked with Jeremy Zucker and now talk to you. So Yay. what I want to ask you is that um, on this episode with Dr. Vivek Murthy, you asked a simple question as a starter. You asked about what makes you want to talk about loneliness? So I want to ask the same question to you. What attracts you to talk about and sing about loneliness, Lau? Oh. Honestly, I just feel it so much all the time. I feel like, not all the time, but so often, you know, I always feel like I've escaped it and I'm good. And then I comes creeping right back in, right back into my life. I'm sitting alone and I'm still learning how to just be with myself and be good. And um, I just, I love the feeling of human intimacy and feeling connected to people. And it means everything to me. Like, it's just literally everything. And I feel like we're all on this planet connected to each other and I love tapping into that energy and, and you know, learning about other people and, and um, it's just my favorite feeling. So today, how, how do you feel like on the scale of one to 10, your loneliness scale? Can you tell us? It's gone up and down from zero to 10, like four <laughs> times today. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so this meditations, I heard on, um, you know, I'm a fan of podcasts. So basically, yeah. three months I've been quarantined, self-isolated, I came across Love on podcasts. And I came across this podcast, you with Eric Nam catching up. Yes. So, so you talked about modern loneliness on this podcast. And what I want to know is that um, the process of making the music fit of modern loneliness. I love this um, this music fit so much. It kind of brings the relate relateness globally. You know, everybody feeling the same way. Yeah. And um, when you're making this, when you made this music fit, does it came across a huge concept? Did you make a mood board, or does it come organically? It was pretty organic. I mean, we were originally going to make a different music video before quarantine got serious. Uh, it was going to include a bunch of my fans, but we had to cancel it like the day before. And then we were like, we have to come up with another concept. And I always had faith that we would come up with something even better, but it took probably a week or two. And then all of a sudden we had this idea of shooting the whole thing on the, on the phone and, and, and just really just a day in the life, you know, being at home and, and just the way I use my phone and the way I can, I can be so alone and pass the time and yeah. Yeah, so what I like about the music fit is the ending. It's, it's random, it's pretty random, but you mentioned the uh, daily average of your screen time weekly report. So <laughs> what I feel about that is every time I get a weekly report from my iPhone, when the productivity, I mean like when um, the percentage goes down, it kind of make me feel like, oh, this week I'm a successful person because I get to hang out with real people like, but you know, so. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. 
yeah. But uh, this week, your uh, your percentage is up for 21% last week, so. Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't know this. Yeah. It's probably up a billion percent at this point. Ugh. Yeah. So, again, uh, I heard you talk with Eric Nam about your father, which is a chemist teacher. So, can you tell us more about your parents? Like, in modern loneliness, mom and dad calls you so many times. Is yeah. That Does that happen in real life? Well, you know, especially when like, the past few years, I've been so busy with my career. I would forget to, I forget to check in with the family and forget to check in with a lot of my friends or I, I get so stressed out that I don't do it. But my parents are lovely people. They're both scientists. Um, they've always been really loving and supporting of, of what I do. And I'm forever, forever grateful. And um, I want to do everything for them in return. Not that love is you don't give love for it to be returned, but still. Um, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I can't wait till I can see him again. All right, shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Slef. Thank you for bringing <laughs> to the world and thank you for bringing the How I'm Feeling album, which is pretty crazy. Let me update you in Indonesia on Frambors. You have a major fans here because I have never seen somebody has one full album, consists of 21 tracks, and on the radio, we've played like 11 tracks out of your album, and that is Woo! crazy. 11 album. Let's and go. the current main hit, let's talk about this song, is Mean It featuring Lainey. So what I want to ask you that. is, what was your first impression when you first met Paul, the vocalist of Lainey? That's a good question. Um, I was kind of nervous, you know, because he's got such swag. He he dresses so well. He has such good jewelry and there's something really cool about Paul. And then I realized that we're so similar in so many ways, just like our spirits and like our vibes. So it was really easy to hang out with him. And the first time we met, we were in my studio and we talked for like, I don't know, four hours straight. It was amazing. Wow. Four hours straight. Yeah. I, I don't know what you guys talk about, but I'm pretty curious about that. Yeah, but, it was amazing. Uh, <laughs> let me check on the, on your one of their interviews, it said that your mom has a, a a major crush on Paul. Is that true? She okay. When I put the song out, she kept being like, "Why?" I, she's like, "Why do I love? I love Paul's part so much. I love Paul's part." When Paul comes in, when Paul comes in, I was like, "Mom, chill." <laughs> so but funny. have have mom met Paul like in person? No, no, they haven't met. All right, she not did. yet. Okay, other than Mean It, one of the biggest hit in Indonesia is Fuck I'm Lonely. Uh, sorry if I'm cursing. Hi, Billy. How are you? This is Billy. Say hi, buddy. Billy, look at you. So fluffy. How old is he? He's, so fluffy. He's a year and at this point, like a year and seven months or eight months. Yeah. What have you taught <laughs> Billy to do? Like, oh, I mean, the classics the sit, the down, the stay. He does give me paw now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> what was his favorite food? His favorite food? Well, we have this really fancy chicken and rice. I think that's what it is. It's really, I don't know. It's like, I tried so many different types of food on him, and he pretty much only eats this one, so. He is pretty Asian, chicken and rice. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, um, um, what I want to say before is that um, I've, I've heard this podcast of yours, Switched on Pop, which I keep on repeating it because this is a very nice podcast of discussing oh, your song, you. Like I'm Lonely. It's about yeah. mind rhymes and yeah. how the lyrics came up. Um, it's me, myself, and why did you go, you know? Yeah. And what I want to ask you is, tell us about Michael. You know, you got two Michaels in your life, right? Yeah. Songwriting process. Yeah. Tell us about them. Both incredible songwriters, very different songwriters, but both incredible. Um, Michael Matasek has some of the most like creative and poetic and image-based lyrics, you know, just stuff I would never think of. And I, you know, I love working with him. And honestly, I mean, me and him, I like me better together, you know, just me and him. And, um, and you know, the other way back, my very first song. And yeah, he's, he's incredible. And um a huge overthinker, just like me, but I'm trying to get better at that. Michael Pollack is just a boss. Like I, he, he knows how to get things done. He's an amazing songwriter. He's an amazing pianist. Um, yeah, I mean, they're both amazing friends too. So yeah, I love them a lot. 
All right, overthinkers, yay. Yeah. Okay, so um, next thing is I found this song, Feelings, and I remembered that on the same day, you also wrote a song for Celine Dion, Imperfections. Crazy. This, I haven't heard the story yet, Imperfections. How yeah. does working with Celine Dion feels like? Well, the funny thing is we haven't even met, um, but I wrote the song and I started it with some other friends of mine and then I guess she heard it and loved it and then we, yeah, like finished it and she recorded and, and um, now I have a, a Celine Dion song, so it's pretty crazy. So what, what is your major love song by Celine Dion? Give me one title. Oh. Will it be My Heart Will Go On? Sorry, say it again. Will it be My Heart Will Go On from Titanic? That is, that's, a, that's a pretty good one. That's a classic. Now I'm thinking of, of Titanic. I haven't seen that movie in so long. I have to watch that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Yeah. On the scale of loneliness, one to ten ups and down, I think you should watch Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, uh, we, we got two more minutes, so I would like to dedicate this one for love.indo and love.indonesia Instagram. It's from Fallon, so it's about success. Is your main goal in life is to become a singer, or do you have a next goal in life? Can you tell us about that? A few. I mean, I'm trying to also think of my life less as like goals, like I have to reach this level of success or like in my career, because that honestly, like, it's just endless. You just want more and more and more. So I'm trying to, especially through meditation, just focus on like feeling love and feeling everything and, and happiness right now, no matter what is happening in my life and trying to just come from a place of love, something that I would love to explore for fun would be acting. I would love to do that at some point, And I think I definitely will at some point in the next, definitely next 10 years. I don't know, maybe sooner, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I want to try more things. Right. Just like Justin Timberlake, you know, singing and acting. I think you probably <laughs> be the next Jake Gyllenhaal because you guys look alike. Anyway, Let's go. <laughs> that's just a random thought. Okay. I love okay. it. <laughs> One more question from your fan is, will you release Miss Me Demo? I know this song has been out on SoundCloud, not on Spotify, so tell um, us more. Yeah, my plan is to definitely release it. I don't know when, but probably with some other songs. So. All right. So I can't yeah. wait for that to come. Yeah. Thank you, Lau, for um, connecting with us again. It's a yeah. pleasure to talk to you. And shout out Thank to Billy. You guys. Mom and Dad. Yeah. Thank Can you guys you say... for taking the time and for the support. I appreciate it. Yeah, can you say last thing to the fans in Indonesia in Bahasa? Can you repeat after me? Yeah. So, can you repeat? Aku cinta Indonesia. Aku cinta Indonesia. Perfect. Thank you so Sweet. much, Ari. Yeah, thank you guys. Have a good night. <laughs>